Welcome to Stonehands. My name is Simo and I'm not trying to market to you my fabulous greenhouse. It's just windy outside and I love making my videos outside. So that's why we are here. <laughs> so, but marketing. What is marketing? Marketing is a art of communication that people feel assimilation or famili familiarity with other people. I got marketed this, this hoodie or sweater, I don't know how it's called in English, and I was like, cool, I must have it because I saw someone wearing it. I was like, wow, that's cool. That's marketing. But many people struggle with that. I don't want to be a salesperson. Don't be. You don't have to be. I'm, I'm a crap salesperson. Like, uh, I did a launch of my product uh, and I sent around 15,000 direct messages, DMs. 15,000. And I got around 50 leads, like 50 people who purchased my product. Okay, there, there was a problem with my sales pitch, probably, yeah? But what I can do ex excellently, that I'm really good at, I excel in it. It's organic marketing. I had the rows of people queuing up to come to my concert <laughs> and there's not enough spaces or seats or whatever fully booked because I made organic content the people started loving me they cherished me and they came to do my things they came to my concerts so it's not always that a good marketing will make a crap product a good one. No. Most important thing before marketing anything, you must understand what is the most natural thing that you or your company is offering. And around that, we will create a plan, a strategy. So you got to be or you got to have a key person of influence. Someone who is the face of the brand. Someone who is the representative of the thing that you are doing. Or maybe yourself. And by being a key person, you start collecting leads. Like Richard Branson. He just <laughs> gets on his own social. Or actually, he's dyslexic. So he orders someone to get on his social media channels and announce now we have created a virgin mars bar oh yeah all the people will be purchasing it because he's a key person of influence like there are virgin records virgin airways and then there was this virgin virgin space i can't remember i bought some of that stock and i made good profits out <laughs> out from it so okay you have a key person of influence. And what then? What happens next? Here comes the rule. So the secret big brands. Okay, not the secret. The big, big, big boys. For example, Coca-Cola. They give people a taster. When someone tastes, drinks, eats something for three times, then the person gets accustomed to it accustomed to to its taste it can be like you're drinking sugar with tea tea with sugar and suddenly you stop adding sugar to your tea and you drink it for three times first time is strange it's crap second time still strange third time oh that's quite familiar to me and fourth time you are locked in the same goes with interactions with people four times and you watch four of my YouTube videos and you get quite accustomed to me. We are quite familiar. You feel like, oh yeah, I know this guy. This happens. But from there, we build it up to seven. Eight is all already that you, you are in my friend zone, that we are old balls, old friends. But 
seven interactions or seven services that someone is able to provide this creates loyalty this this creates a sensation a, a sensation of trust when we interact for seven times you already begin to trust me even if you do not agree with me you know my face you know my message and you start taking the stuff in and that's the basis of organic marketing that you start showing up with your ideas with your philosophies you can make videos you can write articles it's just important that people know the face behind the content and are able to relate to the content and if you have made seven interactions the eighth one the eight is also important in a group psychology for when there is more than eight people you and other seven and there is like, like nine then uh, one unified group becomes into two or three separate groups when you have more than eight people working in your business it it gets diversified people start making groups it's not anymore an uni united like, like manchester united you know <laughs> you know no, never mind never mind the manchester so on the eighth post or on the eighth video you have been posting them and they get n no t notifications and people know you you make an offer you do not make a sales pitch hey do you want to buy my thing no you make an offer we offer like we are having a physical event do you want to join it can be free offer it can be paid offer but most important thing about making offer afterwards is that you get someone pay you at least one unit of your chosen currency like one dollar one euro one gold nugget <laughs> and if that person makes this purchase they will eventually purchase again and again from you you will have a loyal customer that's how you create your customer base that's how you create loyalty in your business and that's the greatest marketing strategy ever envisioned for humankind that you get you become part of your community and your com community creates trust in you and from there you can change their world you can give them new tasters you get you give them coca-cola no don't give them coca-cola please no like cristiano ronaldo said like put this drink away <laughs> yes give them something healthy something mature and something that will benefit their lives so i hope you enjoyed subscribe and see you soon again